I don't know what gave you the idea that this was okay, but I want it brain taping starting. Can you really make this run? I don't think you can. Really don't think so. I've often seen the previews from Peach Hack where I saw Arc Lockdown and that stealth card. It's very clear to me that, yeah, I've, what I've suspected all along, they are fixing most of these issues, but... Yeah, so I'm just going to try and race ahead before they fix all these issues, and then I'm going to have to do some long-ass apology video, because... Yeah, they, yeah these, these guys are on top of it, they're clearly on top of it, but for, anyway, for, for now, this infection... I'm going to talk to you about Wayland. get more money than you kill the runner. Perhaps I should say an ex-criminal. You're supposed to be able to sea source them. I don't know why sea sources MBN should be. I really think that should have been a Wayland card, but eh, either way. The idea is that you get more money than you kill them somehow. Or you <laughs> you, you raise all your barriers and they can't get in or... That's the AI computer. That's it. That's, that's what this whole flim flam has been all about. The time has come. Same login screen. Nothing cool or dramatic. Alright, this is a huge grid. Pro tip, it's not actually that big of a deal. Boom! All the guard eyes are gone. Boom! Again. And... Is that it? That was it. Uh, sorry guys, that's... that's it. Whatever, the point is you're supposed to be able to outpace the runner, except corporate economy is nowhere near as fast as runner economy. I will fully admit that Wayland is getting some new toys that take exception to this rule and um, not having to just rely on Argus style. I mean, it, was, it, was, it was too slow before but Timogen Contract has compounded the issue. Argus style, okay. Either way, you can see this from the way we in design. Get one credit for transactions, get one... If they get money from the agendas, they can... I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. The problem is, this does not take care of the core design issue. <laughs> HB and Wayland have strong IDs on occasions. What they do not have is multitudes of strong options. For example, if you were to put AstroScript in another deck, it is automatically stronger. If you put Scorched Earth in a deck with tagging options, it is automatically stronger. What adds to this is that HB and Wayland's strong cards are conditional. Scorched Earth relies on tags. Biotic is extremely expensive and it's only effective one time. Whereas San San and Jinteki cards are highly effective and cheap. If you look at the ice, look at the amount of money they gain in Rush and Burst, it's super effective at a low cost. HB's is only, and Wayland's only slightly effective at a higher cost. The response team is great with Presec, but I can no longer have them both on, on the, in the player at the same time because one will get trashed before the other and they both lose effectiveness after that. Like I said, a pre-sec, but dedicated response, you lose a lot of effect after that. I mean, they fix these swarm cards by just limiting the amount of advancement tokens that 
certain eyes can have an effect with and if they'd done it here I think these these eyes would have been much nicer but that's okay still power grid shut down nowhere near as good with all the accesses and redundant programs and hardware around So the problem with most of these sentries now is they're all within mimic range and they can all be data suckered down too easily. I mean, why? Not afraid. Don't be afraid of the high strength sentries, people. We need high strength sentries, and I'm not talking about just five or six. We need a few sevens and eights, and some more of those. I mean, they cost enough. Now, as I said before, some new burst econ cars have been revealed for HB and for Wayland, and I think it will just about even things out a bit. And with the way Wayland's been targeting, as you can see from this video here, I mean, we targeted just one building here to miss the nursery next door, as well as all their betting shops, which was quite impressive. Wow. <laughs> Dedication so many good, all these other stuff. See, now here's where, where Wayland cars start to pick up some power. See, I mean, you get so much money with Mumbai City and neutral cards and commercial. Yeah, see, that's this is how much money when should be winning. They should be winning, just, they should be winning off go away money. Just don't even bother trying to stop trying to stop with my money. Subcontract, finally, that's good. It's like a nice way of getting clicks there if, if you're tagged. Crisis management, good. Stock buyback, excellent. CI fund, eh. It's designed to be splashed. It's designed for other factions, it's not designed for Wayland. But I still feel it could have been better if it didn't actually cost the credit to use it. I mean, if it didn't cost the two credits to use it, I thought this card would have been, yeah, excellent. This sort of card would have been excellent to splash in other, in other factions. But because of that two credit to trash it, that's the, because of the account siphons around nowadays, it's just, it's just really not worth it. And now we get to boom and door to door. See if Wayne is finally getting some more tagging stuff. I mean, the problem is the tagging's on the on the runner's turn, so they can just so even if you do beat them on the trace, they can just pay two credits and lose the click, and it's just not amazing value, really. If you disagree with me, you make only in faction decks. I guarantee you, Jinteki and MBN will be a much easier build than HB and Wayland. Next time on Aesop's Pawn Shop, I try and make a friend. <laughs> Completely out of context without any understanding of the rules and whatnot of the game. And I'm going to start with, with like the one I find.